beast. So this has arrived and I said to myself, right, I'm gonna have a no spending month after I purchased my last makeup palette. I brought a full face of products. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing good today. So here I have, a, it's a decent sized box of Beauty Bay products and I am going to do a full face when I say full face, I mean from the primer to the setting spray and everything in between, including lashes and everything else, yeah. Beauty Bay is going to pick my makeup. So, that is what I'm gonna title this, I think. Yeah, Beauty Bay picks my makeup. Okay, so basically, I went browsing on Beauty Bay and I wanted some new makeup. Now I'm terrible at making decisions. I'm very undecisive of what I want. I hate browsing. I mean, I like browsing, but it, it's, it's time consuming. Yeah, you can spend so long on the website trying to find something that you don't know what you're looking for. So I wanted a full face of me not deciding. So I went on to Beauty Bay, I literally typed in primer. I didn't want to look, I just want to pick the top result of primer. Same again, foundation, foundation, top result, get that, blusher, whatnot, everything else. Just the top result, I'm just gonna do that. That way I can try out new brands I've never even heard of and I don't need to think about what I need to buy. I can just get Beauty Bay do it for me for the top result. So that's what I'm going to do. Basically, cut to the chase, Beauty Bay is going to pick my makeup for me. That is that. Yes. That is going to be what my video is going to be today. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already and you want to see more of my makeup videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And if you are a return subscriber, thank you so much for coming by again and watching. And yeah, without further ado, let's get this stuff on my face because I've got a lot to get through. Literally, I'm just looking at this now and I'm just thinking, what the hell is this? I've even brought brushes. I have brought eye brushes. Wow, we are so doing the full face. I don't care, I've spent money. I am happy I've got all this makeup. I'm just checking if I've got everything and I'm thinking I'm missing a product. I'm looking for a primer and I can't find a primer anywhere. Well, what? Effed everything up. I don't have a primer. Thank you, Beauty Bay. I thought I ordered a primer. Wow. Turns out I've looked back on my order and I didn't order the primer and I don't know why, I thought I did. But anyway, I do need to test out a primer anyway. I've got this Smashbox Photo Finish. So yeah, this is the primer I'm gonna test out and I actually got this recently from my Rockerbox advent calendar. So at least I have got a primer to test out, hey? We're just gonna dive in. So much stuff to do. Um, so much stuff to try. It feels quite silicone-y. It's very, it is very soft. What else does it claim to say it does? Smooth and blur. I must say it does look more matte. So if matte is another way of saying it looks blurred, the, the side without the primer, it looks more oily. I feel like it's definitely not hydrating primer as though it's gonna make you dewy. It definitely does matte down the skin, I'd say. Okay, so whilst I have my primer sitting on my skin, I am going to go in an eye primer, which I do have. So this is the Beauty Bay own eye base they've got. And yeah, it came in this fancy packaging. I've never tried any of the Beauty Bay own range. Ooh, I like the font on that, looks kind of cool. So this is the eye base. I'm just gonna put a generous amount on. This is actually specified for an eye base, so I wanted to give that a try instead of using concealer like I always do. Definitely see it cancels out my veins. Okay, so I have got a really exciting eyeshadow palette to try out. I love trying new palettes, they get me so excited. Oh, and the brushes, I need to see about the brushes. Are these the eye set brushes? So I got a 12 piece travel brush set. Is this eyes? I don't know, but look at this fancy packaging. Wow, that is just glorious. I just love holographic. Ooh, wow. This is exciting, it comes in a case holder as well. Why did I not? Hmm, smells weird. It's 
smells like those handbags you get from the airport. Yeah, I'll be testing these out as I go along as well. So the palette of choice that Beauty Bay has picked for me is, of course, their own range. The Book of Magic. This is a 20 color eyeshadow palette. I've seen a couple of people test this out on YouTube. And yeah, it looks like a really fun palette to try out. Featuring 20 richly hued shades to customize and enchant, mix them together to create powerful charms or wear them alone to show their individual powers. With velvety mattes, vibrant shimmers and a duochrome, all in a pigment rich formula, these shades have seamlessly blendable texture and major staying power for spell binding. It looks more magical than the last. That sounds really fancy. So let's get into it. Ooh, look at this. Wow, it does look like more on the cool tone, but we do have some like warm tone like here. Okay, oh, literally have no idea what to choose. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna dive in and see what I come up with, so let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the color trick. Let's, I haven't, do, I haven't done many blues on my channel. Let's go a trick. Packing trick here, just onto the lid for now. Yeah, it's showing up really nice with the primer laid down. Yeah, I'm gonna take Elixir whilst I'm here. I wish I had a smaller brush. Nope, don't have one. Put an Elixir on top of trick shade. Powering it on for now. Um, I don't know what this shape I'm doing, but Hey -ho. I'm gonna get my other Beauty Bay brush and just blend in it, try to blend it. And I'm gonna go more into that elixir shade and just go in more. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, okay. Now what shade shall I go in now? Hmm. I feel like I want to darken up the shade maybe, so I am going to take Cursed and just packing it on. These eye brushes, I wish these eye brushes were smaller when doing eyeshadow, I feel like, I feel like they're too big, like let me compare it to something else, like this is a peaches and cream brush, look at the size difference, just wish it was slightly smaller yes that's what i've got to say about that okay so we have got that going on looks a bit crazy i'm gonna take the color jinx i thought this was kind of cute and i'm just gonna place it on the lid so this shade is probably better if i cut the crease or something but hey ho this eyeshadow smells a bit smells a bit weird now I feel like I want to go into more of a lighter shade. That is so interesting. This shade called Crystal looks looks quite... Oh, that is the duochrome one. It looks green when I look at it, but when I... Wow, that looks so cool. I don't know if the lights are going to pick it up. Look at that. How cool is that? I want to go in the colour Charmed, which is this lilac shade here. I don't know why, but I feel I need, I need that shade on my lid. It's calling me. Packed on beautifully on the brush. So it is going on very softly with this brush. It's a very thick brush, so let me try my finger. There we go. Oh my God, I love this with the blue. It's so playful. Oh God, that's so nice. Okay, I'm getting really excited, right. Try and mix it with the purple. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Okay, so for the inner corner, I have to go with a silver because I feel like, because it's such a cool tone, I, like, I feel like we need to go into moonlight. Moonlight. It's gone a bit full out here. Okay. Kind of wish this palette had a pink. I think that'll look really nice with the purple. But either way, that is a stunning purple and that inner corner pops. Woo! So far, judging from the colours I've used, this palette with the eye base, I feel like they worked really good together. And the colours that I've used, obviously I can't talk about 
the other shades because I haven't used them. But the shades that I've put on this eye today, the pigment is there. The shimmer was quite soft and it glided on really nice with your finger. I mean, you do get the most payoff with your finger. And I can't really say much about this palette because I've only used these shades on my lid. But I'm going to try to do another dedicated video on this palette. So make sure you stay tuned. So this is the Wet n Wild eyeliner. We are going to do a liquid eyeliner. I do like myself to have a liquid eyeliner. And yeah, never tried Wet n Wild before. Well, not an eyeliner anyway. And not looking forward to this. <laughs> so I have no idea whether, well, Wet n Wild is a good brand or not. I have no clue. I myself prefer to have flexible nibs. Some people like to have the sturdy stiff ones so it gives them more control. But in my, in my personal preference, I prefer a flexible one. So... Oh, for f flipping heck. Why did I do that? So I tried to disguise my mess. So overall thoughts on this eyeliner. Yeah, I actually do like it. It just needs a bit of practice. Of course, if I'm working with a new eyeliner, I do have to play around with it first just to see how this eyeliner works because all different eyeliners work different ways and different way of holding pen and know which way direction i just need to practice more with it that is it but yeah i kind of like it it's decent next is a foundation beauty bake has picked me the ex1 invisi wear liquid foundation and i got it in the shade i don't know what but i have seen this floating about on youtube before and yeah i am going to give it a go don't know if i got the right shade though to be honest the shades on this foundation looks quite woo, dark. So I got in 4.0 and it says here, skin like pigments even out complexion for perfect coverage that is almost invisible. Foundation stippling brush and it's definitely not my shade. Okay, so it is quite quick drying. Should have worked with this. Yeah, this is so orange. I don't know how I feel about this brush. It feels too flimsy. Okay, for some reason it's like collecting the foundation around this area and I don't know whether it's because I've got dry skin, but my other foundations don't do that. It's giving me a foundation beard. I am going to go in with a concealer. Now, Beauty Base picks me LA Girl Pro. Now, I got two shades because the shade range in this was very weird. I'm gonna try and mix the two together. Comes in like a paint applicator. That's gonna be way too dark for me. Why is that so white? It's quite thick. Actually, wouldn't you blend it out? It's not too bad. I think it's all right, but I'd prefer to try it on my own foundation to give it a real test because this foundation is really putting me off. It blends out fine, it's a bit thick consistency. And to be honest, I'm not very happy with the color choices they have on this concealer, LA girl. Uh, weird, weird shade range. Okay, so we are going to go in with a cream stick contour. Now this is by the brand So So. Sugar Jackson. Ooh, reminds me of the one what I've got from Primark. And is this gonna be the wrong shade? Probably with everything else that I've brought. Okay, so actually no, it's not too bad. It's quite hard to blend out. But yeah, it's all right. It's just a bit weird blending out. Yeah, I kind of like that. So I did a nice contour. Right, I have got a powder to try. So I used to hear about this all the time. This is the RCMA makeup. 
powder. I'm just gonna take one of the Beauty Bay. I hate this. How much, that is a lot of powder that is. How do people do this? Did they just dip it in? Wow, it's white. White as you can get. Um, Wow, this has just made me realise how dry my skin is, actually is. I feel like this brush is too dense for that powder, so I am going to go in my Unicorn Cosmetics one instead. I feel like this is more subtle. Snowing. It's not exciting though, I don't really like the packaging, it's a bit... I don't know. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's done the job, I don't like the fact you have to I feel like this is going to be very messy this product um yeah it doesn't excite me it's just a powder but you can get exciting powders like the Jeffree Star powder I like that the magic star um but yeah maybe I did need that powder to hide the fact I'm orange okay so I've got a bronzer this is a beauty bay their own range and says here it's silky bronzer to give you that sun kiss feeling all year round it's tiny here we go let me just swatch it yes i feel like that is a decent bronzer shade for me and i'm going to use one of my brushes because again i don't feel like the beauty bay have a decent i feel like it's too big for a bronzer brush so this is in the shade fawn yes I like it, I like, I like it already, it's a nice shade, it's not too, it's not too dark for me, but it's probably because I've got a really dark foundation underneath, um, yeah, oh, so this, this looks exciting, so this is some blush, and this is a Living My Best Light, Delicate, and, is that the brand, Delicate, look at this packaging, look how cute this is, so this is again by Beauty Bay, Ooh, oh no, this is a highlighter. This is a highlighter. Right, we can't use that yet though. But look at these colours. I need to put my little blush on first. Look at these. So the blush I've got is this Milani and this is in the shade 05. And I don't think I've tried Milani before. It's a nice peachy pinky tone blush. And I'm going to try use one of the blush brushes from the Beauty Bay batch. Very nice, I like that. Yeah, I like that as a blush, it's very pretty. Blends very easily and, oh, it's got a little of a, bit of a dewy glow as well. I can imagine this wearing it in the summer. Very nice summer blush. Look at these pretty colours. This one's calling me. So we've got Graceful Glow, Dazzle, First Light, Precious. How pretty are these? So for me, I feel like I want to go in this pinky one. And we've actually got a highlighter brush, so I'm going to use that from the brush set. I just need to test if it's not the brush. I feel like this brush is too flexible. This is more dense. Yeah, that's better. You know what? I think it was the brush. I'm not happy with that brush. Like if you can tell this is more thin this one's more dense so you're going to pack on more of the product with a dense one this was too flimsy i mean if you want just a slight i don't want a slight though i want to go in maybe it's just the brushes that weren't doing it for me well yeah that's a nice hat it's not overly pigmented but it adds a nice glow I mean, who would want a very pigmented pink highlighter? I don't think you would, would you? You just want it sheen. Okay, so next we have got some lip liner and lipstick to try. So this is the LA Girl again. If you like to give me LA Girl, this is in the shade Spice. I like this shade. It does feel a bit dry. Let me warm it up more on the skin. It's a bit better. Feels a bit tough though. I wouldn't say it's creamy and super soft, it is quite dry. Uh, a bit tough. Let's go with the lipstick. So this is MUA Makeup I haven't heard from MUA like for ages, I haven't seen much about it. So this is a matte lipstick 
This is a matte lipstick in the shade Heart False. Pretty colour. I've also got a lip gloss to try as well. Yeah, I like that. Mmm. Very soft. Not many mattes that are soft. This one is. Mmm. I like that. I like that a lot. It smells really good too. Okay, so with the lip gloss, I really like that. So with the lip gloss, we have got Beauty Bay range again. So this is their own lip gloss. I like the font. And let's see, so it's just like that. So we're just making this matte look into a gloss look now. Glossy. Hmm. Yeah, that's really comfortable. Doesn't feel sticky at all. No, some lip glosses feel very sticky. That's very comfortable. Yeah, I like that. For brows, I've never tried this before. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and I got it in the shade Taupe because that's the colour I normally get it in anyway if I was to buy a brow product. I don't know why I had to smell that then. Well, that was super creamy. Don't like this brush. I'm not a fan of this brush either. I feel like it's too wobbly. You don't need a lot of this, I've noticed, which is fab. You can see why people get ABH brow products. It is. That was so easy. That just went on very easily. Wow. Do have to be careful of how much product you put on though. Finding it overly soft. <laughs> I'm putting a lot more product on than I normally do. I feel like these brows are very big. Definitely, yeah. You get so much in that as well. So I am going to test out some lashes. I have gone all for it. So lashes, lashes, lashes. So Beauty Bay have picked out Ace Beauty. Never heard of this lash brand. And this is what they look like. Wow, they're so dramatic. I never wear dramatic eyelashes, but we're here. So I am going to lay some mascara down. This is by Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Here we go. So it looks like that. I feel like these lashes are going to be too big for me, so I will have to cut them. Mm. By the way, when I do the lash line, it'll literally be similar colours what I used on top. Definitely need to cut them. So I've just quickly done my lash line and I used the colour Elixir and I also put the shade Charm, Charmed and put that in the inner corner. But whilst I'm here, I might as well try out this mascara by Wet n Wild. Whilst my lashes are sitting, getting ready to stick. Yeah, I like the mascara. It's lengthened them for sure. I like the doe foot is quite small and it just gets into your lashes much easier. I'm not gonna tell it with my eyeliner on, but I'm gonna put lashes on anyway, but this definitely will be a good one for an everyday mascara for sure. So that can go in my everyday makeup bag. Right, let's, let's put these lashes on. Let's have a laugh, eh? Well, that went on surprisingly quick. I like it. <laughs> Usually I have to go off camera to do this, but I'm taking the plunge and just doing it. Okay, so too soon. I am facing an issue with the inner corner, like I always do it with uh, lashes, but. Right, time to get the tweezers out. Again, I'm having issues with the inner corner. It just doesn't want to stick. Oh my God. Okay, that's the best I can, I'm going to do. Right, let's set this shit. Okay, so we, so Beauty Bay has picked me the Revolution Matte Fix. I'm not happy with this makeup look. I don't know. It just, I feel a bit weird, right? <gasps> I should put on my highlighter now, see if it's made a difference. Hold on. Right, my lashes are just not on, so I'm trying. Okay, so, so here is the finished makeup look. 
I do like the eyeshadow colours. I think the purple and the blue work really nice together. I think the lashes are a bit too much for me though. I just can't get used to myself seeing with these humongous lashes on me. But let's let's go through some things what I found my favourite. So the things that are really pointing out to me are definitely, definitely this Makeup Academy lipstick. I am a sucker for my lipsticks and this felt enjoyable it felt really soft to my lips it felt comfortable it smells nice too and yeah i like the shade on this so that has got to be my favorite along with the anastasia beverly hills dip brow <laughs> impressive i can see why people use this i liked the setting spray i like the setting spray like that the brushes were not my favorite i like the lip gloss i'm a sucker for lip gloss i like the milani blush I feel like I will like this Sosu bronzer. I just need to, the contour stick, I just need to work with it. I don't like the foundation. I don't like the concealers. I like this bronzer, this Beauty Bay bronzer. It's okay. I feel like I will like it more on my own foundation. What else have we got? Oh, I like this eye primer. I like this eye primer. I like the eyeshadow. And I like the, do I like the lashes? I have to get used to them. The, however, the lashes, they were very easy to put on, I found. I struggle loads with putting lashes on. They just needed cutting down. And yeah, I found it quite easy to put on. I like this highlighter. I just need to use more colors out of it. So that is everything. From what I've judged, I have picked out a lot more than what I didn't like. There's a lot more hits than misses. Well, Beauty Bay picked out for me, which I'm happy about. So yeah, that is the end of my makeup look today. Hope you enjoyed it. What do you think of this makeup look? I so have to have another go at that palette. This palette is, what is it called again? Book of Spells? Book of Magic. I definitely need to do another video on this, this black. Yeah, for sure need to do another video on this. So that is the end of my makeup today. That is a Beauty Bay pick out my makeup. Let me know in the comments what else you want me to do. If you did enjoy this video, do go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and give it a like if you liked it. And yeah, if you already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for coming by again and make sure your notification bell is turned on so you won't miss out on any more uploads. And yeah, that is it for my video today. That's my beauty bay picking my makeup for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day, night, wherever time you're watching this and I shall see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye.